How's it going? It's Greg here from Fisherman's Headquarters. Today I'd like to show you how I snell a hook and I'd like to take it to the next step further, show you how to tie a slider rig. Um, basically, I'm gonna start out with a small bait holder hook. I got a stretch of mono here. The hook and mono can be, you know, your choice depending on the fishing scenario that you're going for. Um, this scenario, I've got 30 pound mono, which is pretty common for fluke fishing. And this is a smaller, uh, say 3040 hook. Uh, what I do, there's many ways to snell, but the person the way I snell is I start off with a small piece um, of mono sticking out from the eye of the hook about an inch. I make a big loop uh, and I put it to the back uh, about an inch or so. So basically it starts here, goes around, big loop. Uh, I'm gonna pinch along the, the shank of the hook here and then I grab this part and I coil it uh, starting at the eye and I start wrapping it back. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Kind of pinch that up, pull this little twist out here and slowly pull this through. I go nice and smooth and gradually. Uh, too fast, you can tear up this mono. Um, I don't know, every once in a while I do that. I, I check this once I pull it tight and make sure it's not burred. So at this point, I'm not through my eye. I'll grab my leader line, pull it back here, drop it through the eye and then pull everything straight, snug it down. At this point, I can kind of move it around, get it right in position, and I'll clip my tag. I always leave a little extra there. Um, if I'm tying these like in the off season, um, I always make sure I leave a little tag in there. It's specifically important to me. So when it is fishing season time, I can grab this with a pair of pliers and snug it up. Uh, sometimes snails have a little bit of memory and they loosen up. Uh, now to take the snail one step further, I could put a another hook, uh, say an inch above or a few inches above. And I could snell this again by doing this big loop like this um, and wrapping again like I just did. And then I could have what's somewhat known as a, as a tandem, fixed tandem rig. So it's two hooks uh, fixed length between the two, which is popular. Um, personally, I tie a slider rig. It was kind of, it kind of came from Spro's um, boa rig, which was a rig that's sort of like one of these. You may have seen a rig that has just a standard um, hook that just lays on the leader like this, where you can have two hooks and you can slide this up, put in a bait. Uh, the hook does not stay fixed to one position. It kind of slides down, but the bait would kind of hold it there. I'm not the biggest fan of that style rig. I guess it works good if you're tog fishing with crab. Uh, for me, flounder fishing with a strip bait, I personally like this other style, which I'm gonna show you. And this is what I call a slider rig. Uh, there's definitely definitely other rigs that are go by that slider terminology. So this is not like a tog style slider rig um, or a Belmar rig. So with this for fluke, basically what I do is I grab a piece of Spectra. This is like 65 pound or 80 pound uh, braided line. I start off just how I did my other um, snell with that small piece of mono in front of the hook. I then pair up the Spectra in there. So they're both parallel, almost as one. I come around and do a large loop like I did before, cup like an inch or so in the front, inch or so in back. And I just basically snell this hook just like I did before, but I'm just doing it with the braid. Starting the eye working back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. At this point, I just pinch that down, pull this slack, and what you'll see is a snell. Um, at this point, I can Trim my tag end on the braid. Need some tension there to cut clean. Um, if I have two pairs of pliers, I can pull this tight and this will, um, this will dictate how much uh, tension is on that slide. So at this point in time, I'm gonna run this monofilament leader through the eye of the hook and this will keep it there, just a little extra kind of security. It doesn't really have to be through there, but if something was to happen with this braided line, that this hook isn't just lost. So it, it's actually on this line. I'm gonna slide this down. Um, normally I fish about an inch, two inches apart. You could do this any, any scenario for different you know applications. You could put a couple beads here, a spinner, um, a squid skirt, uh, bucktail hair, number of different ways you custom rig this uh, on a three-way uh, rig. But that's basically it. You got one hook here, one hook there, and you could fish this, like I said before, an inch or two or a few inches. Um, 
I personally like to fish a whole squid on this. The one pound box of squid normally come with a four to six inch squid in the box. They're really beautiful to fish on a tandem rig. Uh, also mackerel strips, fluke belly, any, con any kind of long slender strip bait, this, this rig works really good. Most of the time I like fishing this in deeper water, a um, little more drift where you've got a bigger um, kind of fish opportunity. I'm really not the biggest fan of fishing these in the bay, I fish more jigs in the bay, but this is my slider rig. Um, like I said before, it's kind of based off of Spro's um, boa rig, or maybe it's owner's boa rig, BOA. Uh, they used to make them, they were very popular once upon a time. I'm not sure if they still make them or not, but this is something I've tied for a while. Big fan of it. Uh, customer Angelo used to come in here all the time and have me uh, tie these for him. And um, he had a great success with them. I've had great success. And I think if you try these out, you'll have good success with them too. Thanks for checking it out.